dura, papi. Puro dura, puro castracho. first group of migrants from the caravan has reached Tijuana. U.S. Customs and Border Protection has stepped up security, closing three northbound vehicle lanes in San Ysidro and one lane in Otay Mesa. The agency says it's in, quote, preparation for the migrant caravan and the potential safety and security risk that it could cause. Private contractors were hired by Customs and Border Protection to fortify the top of the fence with concertina wire. The job of the United States Border Patrol is to make sure that nobody comes into our home, into this nation, without coming through the front door. And we don't discriminate. Anybody that jumps the border fence that crosses between the ports of entry will be arrested and they will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. We're helping to harden the border. So we're taking military engineers and helping to control access to the ports and deter access between the ports. We're providing medical support for, uh, to take care of both uh, military troops and CBP personnel. Dozens of people gathered on the south side. Some climbed the barrier and sat on it. Others walked the structure while Border Patrol agents kept an eye on the crowd. This man dressed in red and white jumping onto U.S. soil. That person and others who did come across ran back when Border Patrol agents approached. We need this to be resolved. It's costing both uh, countries a lot of money. It's not known for certain who these people are. The Border Patrol said it believes some could be from that caravan that has been making its way through Mexico from Honduras. This woman, named Natasha, said she felt for the migrants. To be honest with you, I, I feel like we're the richest country in the world. Let's just let people in. We want people coming in to our country based on merit. At this very moment, large, well-organized caravans of migrants are marching toward our southern border. Some people call it an invasion. It's like an invasion. They're telling us that the single most grave threat to America is a bunch of, like, poor, impoverished, broke, hungry refugees a thousand miles away. Time to begin moving toward a merit-based immigration system, one that admits people who are skilled, who want to work, who will contribute to our society, and who will love and respect our country.